On today's Spotlight, we bring you Moses Akko, an Afrofusion artist who was once part of a band started by Stella Damathas, One Heart, One Sound. The young star left the shores of the country for academic pursuits and has returned a music star of some repute in the Philippines. We bring you his story right now. Nigerian-born singer Moses Akko was enticed by the culture of the Asian continent and so chose to further his education in the Philippines after spending some time studying computer science at the University of Abuja, Nigeria. Before then, he was part of a music band, One Heart, One Sound, founded by actress Stella Damasas. He also participated in the West African Regional Edition of the High School Musical Performance, which held in Lagos in 2009. In 2013, he moved to the Philippines and in no time, his love for music found expression. I had the passion for music. At the same time, I wanted to study. So what happened was, as I studied, I, I found myself also doing music because of the appreciation of music. So um, art is really appreciated in the Philippines. So it started from my school. I was singing at every function and I was singing with the choral team. I was singing the, the, the nation's anthem all the time, prayer songs. So as so it started from that and then it began to grow. So people began to see what I had and they started to invite me. It was still challenging, but at the same time, because it was something that was appreciated, um, my lecturers would like say, please sing for me in class, you know. So I was always singing, always singing in class, in school functions. So I, as much as possible, they gave me the opportunity to to excel in both, um, both in my craft and in my studies. His ability to give an Afro feel to his music, delivered in both English and Tagalog, the nation's official language, endeared him to many in the country. From top government officials who invited him to perform at national functions to big players in the local music industry. When I had the opportunity to be part of the, the team to sing for the opening of Chris Brown's show in the, in the Philippines, now he was coming to the Philippines and um, uh, the, the big, I was already friends with like, I don't know how it happened, but I was, already, I was just going, I was climbing the ladder of success and I started to become friends with all the big guys. And then they just included me, yo, you gotta be part of who will open the show for Chris Brown. So that was like, what? This is Chris Brown. Even though some things happened, we could not take photos, but I mean, that was big for me. That was huge. The height of his popularity was at the national singing competition tagged I Love OPM, meaning Original Filipino Music, an interracial competition organized by a major broadcast station in the country. They brought foreigners from all over the world to sing in the national language of the Philippines, which is Tagalog. So um, I got selected um, and, and we had to be in a place and we had to like move from level to level in that competition and we had to sing without any lyrics, sing, know the songs and sing it properly. So the first um, song I sang was called Kahit Kailan and that was like, whoa, they've never heard anything like that before. So 
Um, that, that's the idea of the show. The idea of the show is foreigners singing in Filipino music. He emerged a semi-finalist in competition where he won himself a strong fan base. He soon launched his debut album, an eight-track project which he says was well received. Well, the album is called The Sound and the, the album is a mix of advocacy, a mix of world, mix of gospel, uh, you would say, like my faith, what I believe in, which is Christianity. So it's a mix of not everything, but mix of both my faith and everything I believe in. Let, let, let's just say that it's a full package of everything I believe in. So the, 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 uh, it's called The Sound, the name of the album is called The Sound. And the song that has gone the farthest is a song called Eshe Baba. So it's a song of just thanksgiving, I mean, just giving thanks, you know, being grateful for life, being grateful for everything. So it's a worship song. We cry out in worship to you with one voice. We... Yo, I should just come back home. I miss my family, I miss Nigeria. And then I felt like, yo, I should spread uh, the Moses music right now, the, the redefined Moses, because as I went to the Philippines, my sound changed because I was influenced by other music. So it gave me, I would say, a global touch. My music had more of a, like, had a global touch to it. So I felt like I should come back home and explore the Nigerian music. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> more. <laughs> Moses is now working on a new album which will incorporate a lot of the pop sound to help him gain fans in the Nigerian music industry. Yeah.